Uh, now the wind starts up. Okay. I'm at Five Rivers Environmental Center. Uh, it's kind of a cool place. And I just did a loop, a uh, beaver trail loop. Uh, that's the parking lot, and that's the education building. And they do a lot of different educational things here. Putting up tents there. I think they have a festival coming up. And I just did the loop. Uh, hopefully the sound's coming out. Okay, I'm on my DJ Osmo with a Rode microphone, so I'm not using my headphones like usual. So I did this loop already. Uh, I took pictures with my camera, which I'll insert at the end. So it's Beaver Tree Trail, and it goes around this pond, and it's quite beautiful. And uh, no, I didn't see no turtles. <laughs> I didn't see no beavers. <laughs> I did see the dam. So I'm going to do a walk. I walked around the whole thing a little while ago to take photos and there wasn't one person in there. You know, the parking lot's got about 50 cars. Maybe something's doing in the education building. But now that I want to get my video camera, of course, people went in ahead of me. So let's see. If anything, I won't talk, which I'm sure is okay. So I hopefully um, have some views of the pond. It's a really beautiful sight. <clears throat> and... This center has seven hiking trails, and this is one of them. So I think I'm gonna do like a little mini series, I'll keep them short, and uh, maybe I'll do seven different ones in uh, different trails. So this is where you come out when you come around the loop. So we'll see if we can do this kind of quick. But like I said, I'm gonna do a series. This is gonna be part one, and. Uh, See if I can do all seven trails. I did the longest one, the long, uh, long loop or the north loop or something, and that was a pretty good hike. <laughs> it had some ups and downs. It's not really mountainous here, but it had some ups and downs and rocky and and uh, some bad puddles when I did it. I did it about two years ago, and I think it was in the fall. So I'm just going to shut it off. But here's the first view over here, which looks good. So these people must be way ahead of me. They have a couple of these platforms and they have a little dock type of thing. I just was looking at the map and uh, two of the trails are wheelchair accessible. One is actually ADA approved, uh, not this one, uh, but there is one that's ADA approved and one that is just wheelchair accessible. But all these trails, except maybe for the north loops, um, are pretty easy. This one's a half mile loop, all gravel and some board walking. This is the big pond. Okay, I was just waiting for a lady over there was photographing, so I was just waiting for her to go and take their pictures like I did earlier. Gotta respect everybody. And they do have a bunch of benches all around. And I say there's a few of these so overlook things. That's the only pier one. And this is kind of like a, not a waterfall, but a drainage pit.
going down. I'm not sure where it goes to. Possibly it goes through the Norman School River. Okay, let's do a little more walking. Somehow it's dirt. No gravel over here. And some roots. It's not marked too well, but you just gotta follow the pond. There is some side trails. I don't know if you're supposed to take them or not, but it's really not marked that much. It's, there's kind of like numbered posts, almost like mile marker posts, but it's not miles. It's, I think it goes around, I don't know, one, two, three, four. I think maybe seven or 12, I forgot what it was. Let's see, they got like these splits. I'll take a lower one so I can give a view. Okay, thought I lost everything there. I was hoping a battery didn't die because I had to take it all apart, the cage and everything. I do have an extra battery with me, but... Okay, I think I started saying there, uh, if you live in the area or you're passing Albany, Del Mar, Bethlehem, Glenmont, any, any place that is worth visiting. A lot of trails, a lot of informative stuff. So, like I say this would be part one. Here's a... I guess it would be the North Ridge. I'm just saying that because that's the way I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, this one's a little longer. And we got, this way is the sun, so we'll see how the DJ Osmo handles it. I hope the mic's working okay. And this is the better view. And the side trail goes up the left and over that car bridge and then it goes a little bit more but there's really nothing that we don't see here. There is a little waterfall kind of under the bridge over there. It's kind of like the same thing we just showed you by the little dock. But that's the main spot. Beautiful. Okay. Now we have some steps. And I think there's one more overlook. <laughs> overlook? I don't know what it would be called, but I'm not sure about it. Okay. Over. There's a, we got everything here. We have a post with number 14. We have a bench. And we have a little lookout. A little condensed, but. You know, somebody just wanted to sit here and read a book or something. Be a nice spot showed in the beginning where we'd be coming out so that's the way we went and this is way back to the parking lot so I'll just give a fast view from the parking lot and that's it thanks for coming along and watch out for the other parts I don't know if I'm going to do all seven the one to the right is the restrooms that's just a I guess some kind of maintenance building there's a circle that's bus parking, and I think it can be used for overflow parking, so it's a big lot. And there's trails all behind there. All the north trails come all the way past that building. And you got the building here, and there's the parking lot. I'll close out over there. Like I said, quite a bit of cars in there. I only passed two people.